political investigation, we discovered what appears to be a pattern. Three people trying to open three different businesses on the south side. They're encountering the same problem. They're aldermen. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov live in the street side studio. Dana, they say the alderman is basically telling them it's his way or the highway. Well, that's when uh, Alderman Greg Mitchell Brad was still communicating with them. And these entrepreneurs say instead of spurring economic development, he's killing it. You all did some good work. 500 supportive signatures on this petition, and Yolanda Kemp's daycare center is still stuck in construction limbo. Her only holdup? A letter she needs from 7th Ward Alderman Greg Mitchell allowing street access to the private parking lot. What I heard back from him was, no, he doesn't support a daycare center coming here. And that was after thousands of dollars had been invested. This petition not considered. Every day I'm, I'm here, I have a parent walking past asking, when is the place opening? Kemp says Mitchell is now refusing to return her calls. Out of desperation, she hired mediator Jocelyn Floyd to help resolve any issues. He's not returned my calls, emails. And this seems to be a pattern for Alderman Mitchell, who's also refusing to give access letters to two other would-be business owners in a ward full of empty storefronts and buildings. He has created a hardship for myself and my husband. Lori Shelby Conley bought this 11 year vacant property to open an alcohol free cigar lounge. She says Mitchell told her he wanted an Ace Hardware or nail salon instead before ghosting her. All I'm trying to do is bring some economic development to an area that I am invested in and he's not giving me that opportunity. This space right in here. July 2020, Desiree and Marlon Wilcox reached out to me after Mitchell refused to give them an alley access letter needed for them to open an events center in a building they also own before ghosting them too. He said my vision is not his vision. It's cost these women hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's unfit and he's proven that. Floyd says she's done trying to talk to Mitchell. She's taken her concerns to the city and inspector general. It's disheartening to know that in this day and age that black women don't have the respect of a black alderman to support our businesses in this community. I emailed and called Alderman Mitchell's office last night and this morning to give him ample time to respond by text this afternoon. He said because there are ongoing issues with the daycare center, he had to respectfully decline to respond. I followed up with another text and a question, but that was the last I heard from him. Brad. Mm. Ghosting you too. So Dana, these are three businesses that you know of, you have uncovered. We know the daycare owner is trying to do a workaround really get around Mitchell to open her business. What about the two other businesses? The two other businesses, those owners also trying to work with the city to find ways to open up. But when it comes to the Wilcoxes, the event space, they said they had to totally change their business plan. They hope to open an art gallery now and hope to open it soon. But again, with every passing day, more dollars go down the drain. Brad. An award that needs businesses. Okay, Dana Kozlov, our thanks tonight. U.S. Marshal recovering. If